Hello YouTube and welcome to DRock Damn Gaming. This is Moo Cow. I'm pretty excited today because today I get to show you some PvE content, which is my thing really. This is my favorite thing to do. This is LFR mode Magushan Vaults. First boss, the Stone Guardians. This isn't gonna be much of a how-to guide. It's gonna be more or less a watch me do this fight video. There will be seven more seven? How many bots? Six, five more of these. Five more of these videos in Magushan Vaults. I'm currently in 464 gear on my Druid Mukau. And basically, I guess I can describe the gist of this fight as I know it to work, which is pretty much like this. I have Jasper chains on. Wait, no, I don't have Jasper. Well, I do have Jasper chains on me. Okay, I'm a little uh, confused right now. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, when you get those chains on you, you basically need to be within a certain. See, I'm taking like a shit ton of damage right now. You need to be in a certain range of your uh, person who's chained to you. Which I keep getting chained to this freaking healer, and he won't go into melee range. He's a freaking daft retard. <sighs> Yeah. Raid finder groups get on my nerves. Half the time. Regardless. When you get those chains on you, you need to be within a certain area away from, or next to the person you're chained to. Otherwise, you're going to start taking a shit ton of damage. Now, this is more or less easier to deal with on... Damn it. On... Raid finder than it is on normal or heroic. Yeah, it's still pretty brutal, or it can be. Like, I was just taking 40k per second there, for a second there. As you saw. Now, normally you wouldn't tank these guys like this, like with all three of them together. Normally you'd have two together and one away. I don't know what this tank's doing, but it seems to be working. That's how we did it last time, was two together, one away, and that's how I did it the first time I did this. I've been waiting to do this for you since last week when I first joined D-Rock Dam Gaming. Because really, I've been putting out nothing but PvP content, and that's not really my style. I prefer to raid and own shit up in raids. Although... I'm not as bad at PvP as I thought I was. God damn it, would you get over here to me? Seriously. You're getting on my nerves. <sighs> Why can't they just chain me to another melee class? Like, honestly. Blizzard, what are you doing? I just took, like, 200k damage there and another two, 120k. Well, that's probably the overload ability, I'm thinking. And I just got chained again. I'm probably going to die if I don't get over there. Um, yeah. This fight's pretty self-explanatory, especially in Raid Finder. I don't think you would need to watch a strategy guide to do the Raid Finder version. I sure as hell didn't the first time I did it. I pretty much figured it out from DBM and what DBM was telling me to do. On what to do, but I watched the Fat Boss Guide on this. Just in case, well not really just in case, but when I start doing normal and whatnot. That way I knew exactly how the, what it worked out and what not. I had no clue that there are actually four of these guys, except you only get three a week. So basically there's one guy, one guy out of rotation each time, which is what Fat Boss basically explained. So there's, every week it rotates on who you have, and that was a lot of damage. Um, hopefully we'll get these guys down. Uh, it'd be embarrassing to wipe on Raid Finder. Not joking. There we go, and you see I got a single of power there, which is amazing because I need those for my legendary quest. I'm really happy I got that. I think I'm going to save my bonus loot roll for later, and I'll catch you at the next boss. See you. Bye, YouTube.